How's it going? Yes, sir. Good to meet you, Mr. Vaughn. Finally, brother, we've been up, uh, been a long time coming trying to put this thing together, man. I'm glad we're here. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Me too. I'm excited. And for everybody watching, you're watching the Honor Show, and we are sitting here with the one and only legendary baller, Mr. Lima Beans himself. Exactly what you just said. Yes, sir. All of that. Uh, LB. It also stands for a lot of bitches. Uh, it stands for leather belts. It stands for lover boy. It stands for living biscuits. It stands for Luther Bandros. It stands for Elder Bars. That's right. All of your above, baby. Thank you for having me on the honor show. It yeah. is truly an honor. Yes, it's truly an honor to have you on here, man. Um. I suppose we'll start right here. Tell us about what, what part of Chicago did you come up at? Uh, I'm originally uh, born and raised out in a little subway called Maywood, Illinois. But uh, I spent 35 years on the west side of Chicago. So I don't really like to claim territories. I just rep the whole city as a whole because I have friends and constituents from the north side to the south side to the subway. So I just rep Chicago. But... Uh, if someone needs to be technical, I'm from Maywood, Illinois. That's right. Sure. All right. Um, can you tell us, what, what is the origins of the name Lima Beans? Well, Lima Beans is really just a way for me to tell the kids to eat their vegetables <laughs> because it's good for you. It is nutritious and delicious. And yeah. a lot of kids are doing crap right now. I would rather the kids eat Lima Beans. Yes. Woo! I love it. I love it. Man, see, that's why you legendary. Yes, legendary baller, capital LB. That's right. Yes. Yes. And can you tell us how, how did the name legendary baller then become incorporated with that? Oh, well, that's just self-explanatory, Mr. Vaughn. If you feast your eyes on the ensemble and all the effervescence that I bestow upon you, you will see that I am legendary and I am definitely a baller. And if you put them together, it's legendary baller. What else needs to be said, Dave? Woo! I love it. Self-explanatory. That's the shit. I like it. Self-explanatory, baby. I'm legendary. I want to make sure that when people address me, the first thing they say is he's legendary. So I put that in the beginning of my name. It's simple math. Yes. Well, you definitely That's are right. legendary. Definitely. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely, brother. Um, uh, when did you kind of decide to start writing rhymes, LB? Uh, well, the rhymes, the writing of the rhymes came natural for me. I've been doing this for a long time. I am a, a student first and a fan second of hip hop. I love everything about hip hop. And all I'm just trying to do is put a little fun where there is none and a little paint where it ain't. So I just want to leave my mark on the game, man. I want people to know that uh, in the in the legacy of the the Slick Ricks, in the legacy of the Biz Marquis, in the legacy of the Old Dirty Bastards, in the legacy of the of, uh, Humpty Humps and the Shock G's, I want to be that part of that part of hip hop that's fun. We all don't have to sell drugs and we don't all have to kill and, and, and be money hungry and materialistic. Hip hop is also supposed to be fun. And so I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to fill that slot. Yes. I love that, man. That was, that was one of the best answers I've ever heard, man. I, and you definitely do bring the fun back to hip hop. And I've said it for years, like watching old DB videos and shit like, man, when, when is this fun shit going to come back? Or like that old 187 proof video with, uh, spice one like with the bottles and the claymation and shit. Fun yeah. shit. Yeah, it's hip, hip hop supposed to be fun, man. It was yeah. never intended to be uh violent or aggressive or detrimental. This was a this was a, a energy that was created to bring people together. Yes. And what brings yes. people together better than laughter and right. love and fun and acting silly. When you smoke your reefers. You, you, you get the giggling. You act silly when you smoke your reefers. When you drink your little elixir, you get to acting silly and having fun. So I just want to be that element. I want to stay on that side of hip-hop. No disrespect 
or no frown upon the other guys that do the other styles of hip hop. I believe that it's all necessary. This is just the side that I chose you to be on, man. Nice. Well, I love it, man. I love it. I, I'm glad you fell in your niche there, because I'm telling you, hip hop needs you, brother. Hip hop needs you. And I and I need hip hop. Yeah. Uh, I need hip hop. Happy birthday, hip hop! It just turned fifty, so it's not going nowhere soon. And I need it just like it needs me. Yes. Yes, I love it. So tell us how how was school for you? Say that again. How was school for you back in the day? Did you like school or? Uh, I hated school. I dropped out of school. I dropped out of school in recess kindergarten. <laughs> when I went to recess and the bell rang, I never went back in. I stayed outside with the volleyball and I was looking up on, looking under the girls' dresses. I hated school. <laughs> yeah. Yes, already a Mac back then. I love it. Um yes, I, got... I was uh I was making the girls give me their penny candy. I used to get Chico sticks, now or later. And sometimes I used to get the uh, strawberry chews in the cookies. Yes. yes. <laughs> I love it. Say, I I love your outfits. You've always got on the dopest outfits. Now, do you? Well, let, let me correct you. Let me stop you right there. First of all, this is not an outfit, my brother. Okay. This, this is an ensemble. Oh, okay. You have to refer to this as an ensemble. Sure. This here, this is haberdashery. Yes. This here, this here is feng shui. Yeah. You have to address this. You know, you have to call it what it is. This here, this ain't no outfit. You can go to Burlington Coat Factory and get an outfit. Right. You can go to Rainbow and get, you can go to Ross and get an outfit. This right here is an ensemble. Yes. Yes. The nice. feast your eyes upon this here. Yeah. Uh, tell me, don't it make you feel good? <laughs> yeah. I feel good, yeah. Hell yeah. Now, now do, you, do you put these ensembles together yourself then? Well, I, actually, I have a stylist. I have a okay. stylist, a brother by the name of Razor Rubin. And I call him Razor Rubin because he keeps me so sharp. Yes. Like, yes, definitely. I can see why. That's right. Nice. Um, now, how did you uh, decide? To, this is another question. How did you decide to go with such style and such panache when you're putting together these, these ensembles? Oh, well, being a gentleman of leisure, it is a part of the, 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 the handbook. It's written in the code that you have to present yourself well. And the, 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 the most important thing to me is I don't want to look like nobody else. Yes. There are so many different talented people and so many artists and so many creative people uh, within the social media universe that I have to make sure that you stop and look at me when you see me. Yeah. And so that, that's the whole logic behind that. I don't want to look like no one else. And I want to look appealing enough that you stop and give me a moment of your time. Yes, yes. Yes. I love it. It's, it's that simple. It is, and it works. It works. Hey, don't I look delicious? Look, look at this, man. Come on, man. I look spindiferous. Yes. Come on, look at me. I look I look gorgeous. I look I look I look sexy. Yes. You see it. Yeah. Pause. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, I, I had I, I was trying to get Vine to say I'm sexy. Yes. Paul. Hey, strike that from the record. <laughs> 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 Now tell us, LB, who are some of your biggest musical influences? Oh, well, that's easy. That's easy. Uh, my, my primary biggest influence musically, and it'll never change, is uh, Rakim. Yeah. The God, the God didn't see himself, Rakim. Uh, and then I'm a big fan of soul music and funk music. So I gotta, I, I'm influenced by the Stevie Wonders of the world. I'm influenced by the Marvin Gaye of the world. It's not all hip hop with me. I just like good music that feel good and sound good. So I like I like the Donny Hathaways of the world. I like the the Erica Badu's of yeah. the world. I like Black Thought, uh, most Def definitely. But in the early stages of my development, I would give a lot of credit to Rakim, Big Daddy Kane, and KRS One. Yeah, yeah, I like I like to I like to jam them all into one MC, and I call them uh, Kane. Kane Chris Kim. <laughs> yeah, it's Kane Chris. It's Kane Chris Kim for me. Yes. Uh, every time. Yes, that's awesome. I love it. 
Here's another question for you. How did you become such a player in such a Mac? Well, I was born with it, man. I can't take credit for it. I have to give it to the almighty. God Woo. God just put a little bit of extra seasoning salt on me when he made me. That's all. And I'm just basking in the ambience. I'm just walking in it. I'm just I'm just being it. I'm just being. You yeah. know, and that's what I encourage all, all your viewers and everybody that's watching this. I just encourage y'all to just be. Don't make life so difficult. Don't make it so hard. Just be whatever you are. Just be it and, and, and just watch how you flourish. And I'm just being me. I like, I'm silly. I, 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 I'm probably 90% silly and 10% good rapper. I just like having fun, man. And I love people. And I just want a, a smile on your face is so much better than a frown. Yeah. And that, that is my philosophy. Yes. Well, that's a damn good philosophy to have, brother. It's a, if more yes, people sir. were smiling, it'd be so much better. Yeah, um, when I'm no longer here, when it is time for me to get old and expire and, and get my wings, I don't want people saying, hey, that dude was a bummer. That dude was a, a pain in the ass when he came around. No, I want people saying, man, I miss old LB. LB I, used to warm my heart when he entered the room. I miss LB used to put a big smile on my face. I used to laugh out loud when LB was around. So that that's what my goal in life is. I'm I'm gonna be a I wanna be a a, a, a smile manager. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna manage smile. <laughs> yes. I love that, man. That's heart touching, man. That really is. Speaking speaking yes, of sir. Mac, you you just dropped an album called let's let's go way Mac. Cause you just dropped an yes, album hey, called Paul Mac Everything. Hey, it's a it's a it's a, a labor of love. I spent a year and a half, probably two years, putting this thing together, but it is officially and finally out on all streaming platforms. You can go purchase it directly from Bandcamp or my website, uh, www.legendaryballer.com. Uh, uh, there's 18 joints on that thing, and I think every one, I put my heart and my soul in every one of them. I have some powerhouse features from some iconic, legendary hip hop. Uh, representatives. I have Mr. Big Daddy Kane on my album. I have the legendary DJ, DJ Jazzy Jeff on the album. I have uh, the cooler half of Outkast on the album. Yes. Mr. Big Boy himself, Daddy Fat Sax. Uh, uh, there's also Bun B from UGK on the album. I have a, a feature from the, the legendary MC extraordinaire Four Eyes yes. on the album. Uh, I have Tariq Nasheed made an appearance on the album. And rest in peace. Rest in peace to my brother and Ryan. Uh, Mr. Meta Mo. A lot of people might not know him, but he's from a legendary group called The Rubber Room. And he passed away uh, within the past year. And I still put him on the album. He did an intro for me. And so I still wanted his presence to be felt. So Meta Mo is on my album. And it's just, it's just a, it was a, it's a beautiful project. I've been getting nothing but positivity and love and rave reviews yeah. from it. And I got some videos coming out soon. I'm actually yeah. about to drop the single, All Mac Everything. The video for that will be available next week. And yeah. so we're just going to keep pushing it. But yes, All Mac Everything. Yes. Uh, dude, every song on there is a banger. Every You did put your heart and soul into every track. And that's what makes it so good is it, it's, it's original. It's you put your heart and soul into it. You got bars, and like you said, you have fun, dude. That's a, it. Honestly, it's some of the best shit I've ever heard in my entire life. So congratulations, thank you, brother. That hey, that means the world to me, brother. Thank you. If I can get one million more people like Vaughn, I'll be okay. Hey, <laughs> well they come. I know brother. there's a million more Vons out there. I just got to introduce myself to them. Yes, well they're coming, brother. Uh, let's talk about a few of the songs off there, just kind of the inspiration behind them. Tell us about uh, maybe the inspiration behind the song, The Foo Fops. Oh, well, The Foo Fops, okay, yeah. The Foo Fops, that is a, uh, that's some Chicago slang. Okay. That, that, that's some, some Chicago slang. And what it means is uh, 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 a very extreme ass whooping. <laughs> that's what The Foo Fops is. So when you put The Foo Fops on somebody, that's an ass whooping that they'll never recover from. <laughs> so I wanted to represent home and introduce the world to some of our lingo. And plus, it's just, it's just a fun word. Ass whooping aside, 
the Foo Fops is just a funny ass word. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I, I just hit him with a little bit of Foo Fop. That's yes. All. Yes, I and love I, it. And actually, let me shout out. Let me shout out my producer. Uh, the producer of the Foo Fops is a comedian. Dig that. It's a comedian named Wade McGuire. Go check him out. He's hilarious. He's okay. actually on tour right now with Chris Rock's brother, Tony Rock. Okay. Yes, brother named Wade McGuire gave me that track, and he's actually working on the remix. I'm gonna I'm gonna give away some 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 secrets right now. I just got the green light from Bone Crusher. Yeah. Bone Crusher is gonna be on the remix of the Foo Fox, and we're gonna put that together for y'all real soon. Yes. Yes. Woo! Yes, sir. I'm still, even though I might look a little sluggish, I'm still working, baby. I'm always working. Yes. You heard it here first, everyone. The Foo Fox remix coming yes, with Bone Crusher. Yes, The Foo Fox remix featuring I'm outside of the club and you think I'm a punk. <laughs> bone Crusher is going to be on Yes. I ain't never scared Bone Crusher. No. I can't wait. I can't wait. How about the song, Ah, oh, Welfare Feed Em? That's another one I really like. Oh, you like the Welfare yeah. Feed Em? Yeah, the Welfare <laughs> Feed Em was just me uh, 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 explaining some of the stories about some of the ladies in my life and, and just going through the trials and tribulations of some of these women. These women are driving you crazy, man. And so that's why I came up with the concept, I don't need the drama. I'm, I'm, I don't really need them. Let the welfare feed them. It's just a, <laughs> it's just a, a, a comical approach at how you uh, love the ladies and leave the ladies. Yes, that's, that's pretty much what it is. And I, I tried to put, I tried to keep it all the way hip hop. Nice. Yes. How about the song uh, "All Mac Everything"? Oh, that's one of my personal favorites. Yeah. "All Mac Everything" is a, a tribute to the to the Mackin first and foremost in the ism, but it's also uh, the perfect birthday gift for hip hop. Seeing how hip hop just turned 50, I went all the way back to a movie called Wild Style. The first hip hop movie ever made it was called Wild Style, and Fab Five Freddy was in charge of the soundtrack on that thing, and he had a record called Down by Law, which was, which was one of the main records on the soundtrack. So I took a snippet of that record and I turned it into all Mac everything. So that way I paid homage to the ism and I paid homage to the hip hop at the same time while having fun. That's all Mac everything. And also that is the record that DJ Jazzy Jeff from Philadelphia, Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, that scratching that you hear, those yeah. cuts, that's Jazzy Jeff, an iconic DJ on that record. So it means the world to me. Yes. Yep, that was one of the first ones I heard off there, too. I was like, ooh, DJ Jazzy Jeff on here. This is going to be classic. I know it is. Yeah, impe impeccable DJ craftsmanship. Impeccable. Yeah. Put that together with LB, and you can't go wrong. You just cannot hey, go wrong. Hey, how can you? Can, how can you? <laughs> you go with DJ Jazzy Jeff and Dr. Cliff Fuxtable, you're yeah. going to win. <laughs> that, I'm Dr. Cliff Fuxtable. Yes, I love it. Oh, one more song I'll ask you about is how about uh, tell us inspiration about Cadillac Clean. Ooh, hey, hey, another one of my personal, personal favorites, the Cadillac Clean. Every player got to keep the Cadillac Clean. That's just that's without saying. That's just that's in the player's handbook. If you own a Cadillac, you got to keep the Cadillac clean. Yeah. And so I just wanted to give some directions for the suckers out there who don't know no better. Right and now, they have a manual. Right? No, that's that's Spanish. That's manual. I'm gonna just say manual. <laughs> manual, that's my landscaper. Yeah, now you got a, a manual. <laughs> you got a manual on how to keep the Cadillac clean. Right. Right. And that's just a stone groove. And, and you can and you can step to it. If you if you're from the Midwest of Chi Town, you can step to that thing. That's that that's a, a bop right there. Right. Yes. 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 Now I gotta ask you. What's it like? Cause I, I seen that video, uh, that Ultra Beast video you did, uh, originals. What's it like when two players, such as yourself and Four Eyes, get together to do a video? Like, what kind of atmosphere is that like? Oh man, it is beyond exciting. Um, it's the it's the perfect combination of excitement, uh, nonstop laughter, and competition. Yes, that you can have. It's like what 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 I love about hip hop 
and real MCs is that when you do a record like that and you can have friendly competition, yeah. no one is trying to hurt anyone, no one is trying to disrespect anyone or steal the shine, but you still want to put your best foot forward. And that's what me and Four Eyes did on the original. We, we competed with each other, but it was within the spectrum of love. Like I love Four Eyes. I respect right. his craft. I respect him as a human being. And I think we bring the best out of each other. Yeah. And Four Eyes is also, outside of the originals, he's featured on a song on the album called Game for Sale. Yep. And I think he, he, he showed his natural ass. He's got the second verse on game for sale. And when I tell you, I think he went, I think he went nude on that because he showed his ass. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes. He killed it. He killed it. Uh he's yeah, yes, dude, he, he's shout one out, of the shout out to four eyes. I I I, I affectionately call him eyeball. That's my <laughs> little pet name for him. I call him eyeball. But y'all can still call him four eyes. But yeah, eyeball, yes. nothing but love and respect for that brother. Yes. Uh Big Daddy Kane. Did an impeccable job on the intro to the album. Yes. Nothing but love and respect, and I'm in, I'm forever indebted to those brothers. Big Big Boy, uh, Bun B, Tyreek Nasheed, Big Daddy Kane. Um, also, I'm, I'm I'm remiss. I'm sorry. Let me apologize and rewind. Mm -hmm. There's some scratching on the Foo Fox. Yeah, and that was that was facilitated by DJ Ace, the Cut Lieutenant. Yes, out of yes. Brooklyn. DJ Ace, the cut lieutenant, y'all go check him out. He he's no joke. He's no joke on the ones and twos. Yeah, that's who did the scratching for me on the full fox. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure I don't forget to get the love. No, for sure. Yeah, big shout out to him. Yeah, big shout out to Four Eyes. That's one of the dudes. He's one of the one of the best. He's a rapper's rapper. He's one of the best. Yeah, MC so if you love real lyrics and you like MC and craftsmanship, yeah, go check out. Uh, four eyes raps. It's the number four I Z E raps. You won't be disappointed. That brother's impeccable, man. I'm, it was a pleasure and an honor to stand next to him. Yes. Well, dude, I can't tell you that that between the bars you spit on that originals video and just just the shit you was doing on there too. Because I noticed, like, when you were drinking and looking in the mirror, the mirror wasn't necessarily doing what you were doing. It was like a whole different scene, yeah. like. Like you were talking to yeah, somebody hey, else. The, the, government, the government cloned me. I'm yeah. That's really not me. That's a clone. Yeah. They just didn't clone Tyrone. They also cloned Lama Bean. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I see you talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's my clone. My clone made a cameo in that video. Nice. That's crazy. And then that mannequin, too, the way you was hitting on that mannequin and Pinching the chin and chin. Yeah, I was trying. I was trying to get the seven digits from her, but she didn't budge. I was. I was trying to. I was shooting my best shot, but she didn't budge. Man, I left empty-handed. Yes. Well, I'm sorry you left empty-handed that day, brother. I'm, I'm sure she'll come around one of these times. I, I know you got hey, it. Hey, 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 Vaughn. It's her loss at the end of the day. You know, I, 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 I've been turned down by better mannequins than that. It was her loss at the end of the day. <laughs> Woo! Damn, I love it. Oh, I wanted to ask you this. On your Instagram, it says "Black Belt in the Art of Pimp Hand." Where did you do? Where yeah. did you get your formal training? Oh well, the pimp hand is strong. I was trained in Chicago on the West Side by the Archbishop Magic Don Juan, and I also studied studied under Mr. T. Yes. Yes, I studied under Mr. T. No, I've never met Mr. T. Mr. T was on the third floor. I was on the second floor. I studied under Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, 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 and let me say this. Let me say this. I pity the fool. <laughs> I pity the fool. <laughs> Yes, I love it. <laughs> How about this? What, what, uh, what do you want the world to know about you? Hey, I just want the world to know that uh, first and foremost, I'm here for you. I'm here for the world, yeah. and I want them to know that uh, I really enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, they, they, the world needs to know that I'm neighborhood and not Hollywood. Yes. I don't do this 
for the money. I don't do this for the accolades or, or any uh, industry endeavors. I, I want the world to know that I am pure hip hop underground. Yes. And, I, and I'm going to remain that. And it's like, uh, if I don't ever go platinum or if I ever don't kiss Beyonce in the mouth, okay, I'm, I'm good with that. I just want to make good product and I want the people to appreciate the art. I want the people to appreciate the art. And uh, outside of that, I, I, don't, I don't require much, man. I'm a simple man. I'm a simple man. Nice. Heck yeah. Um, what, how, what, what the hell question was I going to ask you there? Um, oh, now I remember. <laughs> who's, a, who's a better freestyler, you or Sawbuck? Oh, definitely me. That little whippersnapper can't hold a candle to me. He, 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 he's, he's tried to come for the title four times, and he's left empty-handed, and there's going to be a fifth time if he keeps fucking around. Oh, I, I didn't mean to use the profane language. If he keeps messing around, he's going to get number five. Oh, yeah, definitely me. Yes. Woo! I respect, I respect all MCs, but I really don't like that guy. <laughs> That guy gets under my skin. <laughs> yes, I love it. Um, tell us about. I know you have all Mac everything out. What What are some of the other projects you have out? I seen there was like uh, Chocolate Sinatra. Oh yes, my mixtape. I have a mixtape entitled Chocolate Sinatra, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's doing very well on the streaming platforms. I brought, I put that out about six months ago. Yeah, Chocolate Sinatra is the the title track on that joint. But there's about 12 other joints. What I just did was compile some of my uh, best internet moments and some of my freestyles and nice. some of the, the, the endeavors that I've done over the years. There's a, a freestyle that I did on Jack Thriller, 16 or Better, nice. that, that people love that freestyle. It's on there. Uh, the record Uncut Ism is on there. Yes. Uh, what else is on there? Uh, yeah, it's just a variety of different styles and just me having fun over some classic hip hop beats. Nice. Nice. Well, I definitely enjoy it. Yeah. I I enjoy every track I ever. I've never ever put in a LB track and then said, "Hey, I skip this one." No, it's usually a rewind and then I listen to it Thank again. You, and 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 that that that's my whole process. If it's not that, you're not going to hear it from me. I'm not going to release it. If I can't make it feel like that, now it, it's not ready. It's, I'm, I'm gonna scrap that and go back to the drum boy. Yes, it's it's about quality. I'm I'm quality over quantity every yes. time, brother. A lot of brothers put out three albums, four albums a year. I'm not him. I'm yeah. I'm gonna focus on the quality. I'm gonna slow cook that thing and put yeah. it in the crock pot and make sure it's right. Right. Yes, I love it. Um, Jesse, do you have any advice for any of the young ballers coming up? Oh, yeah, I have a lot of advice for them. Uh, don't leave your lady around me, first and foremost. Don't do that. Don't go to the bathroom and let her sit there alone because she's going to be gone when you come back from the pee, pee That's the first thing. That's the first piece of advice. And the second piece of advice is stop, stop being a hater, man. Yes. Tap into the love. Tap into the love. Tap, uh, support one another. Let's, let's embrace one another, man. If you see somebody yes. doing something positive or something that has potential of being a, uh, a, a movement, get behind that brother and push him. Let, let, okay, okay, I've got this. This is the best advice I can give you right here. Yes. Stop looking at the views. Yes. Stop looking at the followers of all these people yes. and judging people by how many followers they got. Stop yes. judging people by how many views they got. Okay, so what? Somebody got a thousand followers. That don't mean that they ain't trying. They ain't working hard. I I I respect the people with the smaller following more than I respect the people with the big following because I want to help the little guy get the big following. Wow. So stop doing that. Stop saying, hey, he only got 700 followers. He ain't nobody. Stop doing that. Use your influence to help him get 10,000 followers. How about that? And then we all can support one another and keep this thing going in a cycle, man. That's what it's about. The Simba and Mufasa told you it's about the circle of life. I don't know if you're paying attention. <laughs> yeah. You go watch The Lion King. It's the circle of life. Yeah, yeah so Ooh. that's the best advice I can give you. Stop hating. 
on somebody's views and, 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 and how many likes and comments they get. And don't leave your woman around me. That's the only <laughs> advice I got for our couple up, up, up and coming rapper. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I think I just got one more question for you, brother. What does yes, it sir. feel like to be such a legendary Mac and an MC? Oh, well, hey, I, I feel like a unicorn, man, uh, <laughs> yeah. sitting on a rainbow. I can't even lie to you. Every day is beautiful. Every day that I get out to bed and my eyes open, man, I just feel special. Yes. I feel special. I feel special like a student who doesn't change classes when the bell rings. <laughs> That's how special I feel. <laughs> yes, I love it. Brother, your music definitely always brightens my day it's it's full of bars it's it's full of great beats and just scenarios and breakdowns and and the stories you tell are impeccable and and thank you, i'm sir. just glad you're out there man thank you i'm going hey as long as you and people like you enjoy it and continue to appreciate it i promise i will continue to do it yes yes well thank you and everybody go check out his album oh mac everything I'll put a link down in the description. It's going to be one of the best albums you've ever heard in your life. Every song on it's a banger. So we'll put a description there, a link down in the description for you. And thank you. It's been an honor to have you on the Honor Show. It's been an honor to be on the Honor Show. Shout out to my man Vaughn and the Honor Show. You heard it here from the legendary baller. Woo! Thank you, LB. Oh. Can you do one more thing for me? Can you say What's that? Can you say LB bitch? Oh, not a problem. Let me clear my throat. <clears throat> it's LB bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Have a good night, brother. Hey, I appreciate you, Vaughn. Be good, baby. The honor show, number one in my book. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Have a good night. Peace. <laughs>